Hey everybody. Hey, I thought I'd have a fireside chat tonight for a few minutes <laughs> and uh, let you know that this a gas fireplace is, you know, more of an ambiance thing in Texas. As we use air conditioning, <laughs> not normally a fireplace or wood heat, not necessary. So I wanted to share that, um, you know, dreams, visions, everything's coming to pass. Things are happening so quickly and so swiftly. Do you remember when um, Joe said, Dark Winter? Okay, well, there is a reason for this. As it's not just Texas, as we're seeing, I'm going to leave a video in the description box that explains things, a whole lot of things. And we all know about do. We all know about weather modification. We all know that we're in the last days. <laughs> and we all know that these things are coming to pass. Dreams, visions of uh, the grid, food shortages, and uh, power outages, right? All right, so you, you should see the stores right now. They're, they're like completely bare. And they're bare for a reason. I mean, there are many people, of course, that were caught off guard. Those are the sheeple. And they weren't ready for this, so they attacked the stores at the last minute. Supply and demand. The weather made it impossible for deliveries to be made to the store. So uh, I'm going to try to go out tomorrow and, and document some of this. So in the meantime, um, they said that um, it was over 40 hours that we were like straight out of power. And knowing that they were lying the very first day about the rolling power, they called it. And I knew it was the grid. And sure enough, they did come out and declare tonight that it was. And I saw the video also confirms and says it and says why. So, yes, our grid was on overload. And it went completely black. Okay. And still, there are many without power. Now, uh, 38 degrees last night, so cool. I'd had such a rough day, felt so beat up. And I know I sound tired now. And yeah, picking up the pieces is very hard and, and watching and waiting. And very hard and frustrating to get on the internet. And <laughs> I know that many are saying that us Texans weren't prepared for this. No, we don't have snow. Uh, we have air conditioning, and we have no sand trucks, and no snow plows, and none of those things that y'all have. And that's like saying that, um, you know, Alaska has a 120 degree heat wave for a week, and many people die, and um, they weren't prepared. Uh, no, because they don't have air conditioning or something, right? All right, so it's not just Texas, it's the whole world that's having this along with the pandemic as you know there's other states right now that are under a tornado warning so we need to be praying for everybody who's being affected by this one thing is for sure god is good and he's good all the time and he takes care of us and psalms 91 11 and we have an angel that is assigned to watch over us and we need to be praying for one another, encouraging one another, and helping us get through these times. As, you know, being a Yankee, I did have some stuff, yet I did share that video about, you know, things that you might need for now, which I will do an update on. As you know, that little uh, solar-powered charger that I had was probably my most valuable possession during this time because it I kept my lifeline going and my phone charged because we were over 43 hours without power um, after the rolling, the grid stuff. And then at 10.10 10 this morning was when all of a sudden I could hear power and <laughs> there's power in the name of Jesus and oh, I was singing hallelujah and he hears our broken hallelujahs and he deserves every hallelujah. Mom, he is amazing, and he got me through this whole thing. I can do nothing unless it's Christ that gives me strength, right? Nothing. Nothing in me dwells anything good, any good thing either. 
I leaned on him the whole time and he carried me through it. And many of you know that I'm disabled and my goodness, my bones hurt and, you know, just trying to process things with your brain in the first place on why it's powdery snow at 17 degrees or negative 17 like it was the other day. And that's, none of this was normal and it definitely wasn't. And so last night was probably the coldest of all. And during the day, I had a lot of things that I had to do. And took a spin actually around to check things out. And it was cold, so cold in here. It was like 38 degrees. The night before that, I had slept here on the couch and it wasn't too bad. But we made it through tonight. And last night, um, I got this going. And so moving everything over here and the three fur kids and the cat and me, um, all cuddled up here, wearing a hat, <laughs> five layers of clothes, socks, yes, uh, I have my gas stove, um, for emergencies, and, you know, candles, of course, and that flashlight, but that other, uh, solar charger thing was my lifeline, and really helped a lot, so we'll update that video. So, last night being... The coldest of all at 38, I had to go out and um, warm myself up and charge my car on my phone. And, oh my goodness, it started to have freezing rain. And I'm like, okay, well that makes more sense at 17 degrees, right, that it would be freezing rain. Because we knew there was another storm system coming in. But we did get dumped on with over 6 inches uh, last night and was foul powder but my daughter and my oldest uh, I'm telling them about the food shortages and everything and I'm witnessing to them all right they said that they had gone out yesterday when they went to Tom Pum she, they said the place was packed and nearly all the shelves were empty well when they went up to Walmart today to check on some things the Walmart that I go to they said that there was absolutely nothing there probably three loaves of bread no milk, um, water, all the other stuff. They, they couldn't even grab it, anything at all. Um, so it was, you know, we're not able. Uh, all the snow that we've had, probably 11 inches in all. And it's probably 3 inches of ice in between it all. So there's no school, there's no work. People without power still. And at 10.10 10 this morning was when our roof came on. At 12 o'clock, they said that they weren't sure. And all this time, I'm, I'm being reminded by the Lord about the words about the power grid, the food shortages, and, um, you know, the other ones that are going on and that many of us have had as well as, you know, lights out, dark winter. That's what Joe said. And, wow. It's like, this is really happening really fast. Warp speed. Absolutely, sure is. That tells us Jesus is coming. But hey, did I tell you how good God was through this whole thing? I could just sit here last night and do nothing but just praise Him for getting me through what I had to do. And you get into survival mode when you have to. You know that. And <laughs> I just got to show you my cat here. She's loves looking at the fireplace. <laughs> She's mesmerized by it. And she'll lay right there in the cat bed. Um, so, with all that being said, yeah, there's still many without power. I didn't have power for most of the afternoon. I did come on. I don't want to take a chance. So, I'm going to stay right here and not move anything for tonight. Um, and just, just take it moment by moment and day by day. He's in my tomorrow and he'll let me know what to do. So the power outages, the grid, and the food shortages, like all just happened suddenly. Okay, remember that word too as well. Oh my, so many things have been coming to pass, but I'll be doing an updated video as I do have a gas stove and I do have, you know, these other backup things and, um, but yet, there's still more that you probably all need to know about or didn't know about. Everything does run on electricity. And I know that places, including mine right now, where the water just came on. Oh my goodness, the water looks horrible. 
And I know they have a water ban in some areas where they have to boil their water. And it's pretty nasty it's because of the electricity working the treatment plants. All right, and it smells funky too. So there's lots of things going on in the world right now. We need to be praying for one another, encouraging one another. Most of all, our prep is in Jesus and in wise as serpents and gentle as doves and have some things to survive with, okay? No matter what kind of survival situation you need to be in. Um, Texans are Texans and we're strong. We handle 120 degrees. But it's not like we weren't prepared, okay? Because we were. I don't know if I said it in this video yet, but that was like blaming um, Eskimos uh, for not being prepared if they had a 120 degree week of a heat wave and many people died, right? Wouldn't that be silly? And or, you know, tornadoes happening in states where they never happen. Hey. You know, Jesus is waking and shaking right now, this whole world. So even the ones that I've been working on and, and witnessing to and planting seeds to are actually seeing these things happening for themselves. So praise the Lord, y'all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give him praise and glory and just be blessed and thankful uh, for everything because he's in it. And he's always here and he's ever present. And as in Psalms 91 11, we have angels assigned to watch over us. And I know I couldn't get through this without him and without y'all. And I was frustrating because, you know, I just knew that with all this going on, there's things in the world and things that are happening that I don't know about yet to come out and report about. <laughs> That's because there's got to be something if there's a distraction. And then what others are saying about what's going on and, you know, not getting any power. I wasn't able to see the fake news anyways, but, you know, coming out and getting shocked by a few videos that I did see that um, were talking about this was like, oh, they're just reading news articles, all right? Well, that's not all truth, all right? So, yeah, it's been pretty bad. There's still many people without power, so... Continue in their prayers because there is power in the name of Jesus. And, oh, that power is amazing. And he's good. And he's good all the time. So, with all of our kids and I here, we're going to settle down for the night and pray and believe that the power is going to stay on. And we're going to be just fine. As I say, that this is Debbie from Texas. Reminding you to check the description box and thumbs up this video if you happen to like it or down if you don't. <laughs> As I say, peace out. Keep looking up because the king is coming.